Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the next tapestry crochet we're going to do is this one. I don't know if this is upside down or not. There we go. Um, so, um, again, I'm using the base to be this color because I need it to match my other one because I'm making a blanket with all these little squares. So, <laughs> I need to use this to do it with. Um, this will be my base color and then you're going to need red, green and white for the rest of it and then a base color. So let's get started. So there are 30 rows in this. And I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter because um, most of mine, my green is a red heart super saver. It's, it's worsted. I'm going to use my white comfort. It's got the sparkle in it. It's hard to see. It's worsted. And the red has the sparkle in it. That's easy to see. And um, you can get green sparkle too. I just don't have any. But you can get all these colors in the sparkle. Um, I thought it was the With Love collection, but my, my white is just a comfort. It's a red heart comfort and that's the one with the sparkle in it. So I get these great big ginormous balls from Walmart for 10 bucks. So it's a place to start. Um, I don't think you can find any of this at Michael's. So I'm going to start with my base color which has no sparkle in it. It's just a Bernat or whatever it is. I'd, I'm not sure. I think it's a Bernat. I'm going to chain 25. And I'm going to do 24 single crochets back up. That's my 25. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to get into these back bumps for my way back up just because it looks a lot better. And when I do my border around it, I will have full stitches that won't stretch to get into. So, But you don't have to do this all depending on what you're doing with this. So that is my 24 stitches. Um, I'm going to, this is where we're starting. So the first color we're going to incorporate is going to be red, which is going to um, have the letter A associated with it. So chain one and turn your work. First, we're going to do 11 single crochets with your base color. This is my 11th stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop. Because I'm at the back of the project, I'm just going to fold this over and hold it with my thumb. And I'm going to incorporate my red, and I'm going to finish the stitch. So this is my straggler from my red. I'm just going to pull it over. With my red, I'm going to do three single crochets. So that's my third stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to finish that with my base color and I'm going to do 10 single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So my red 
is kind of sporadic throughout. So we're going to do another row and then we're going to do all of this. So I'm just going to cut off a long enough strand that hopefully gets me through all of that. So when it's not attached, it's a lot easier to keep it untwisted because most of our colors are going to be base color and green. We're going to incorporate the green. Um, not in... Oh, you know what? I skipped one. We're going to incorporate the green in the next row. This is what we just did. I didn't do that part. I didn't do that this I didn't do this one. So this is the first row that we just did with the with the pink or the red. Mine's pink on here because my color ran out. But it's supposed to be red. And then this is green. But you can see that my color coming to an end of my, my color cartridge. Um, so this is the next row that we're on. We're gonna incorporate the green. So we didn't do this one pink because I thought it was stupid. So I left it out. In case you're confused by the picture. And where we're at. So this next row we're going to incorporate the green. We're going to keep the green attached to the ball because um, that's going to be a main color just like our base color. So with our base color, we're going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth one. I'm going to add my green. Finish the stitch. So I'm going to weave in some of this at the back. So with my green, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. I'm not going to weave in any more green though. With my base color, I'm going to do 10 single crochets to the end, all the way to the end. This is my 10th one. I'm going to chain one, turn my work. And four. We're going to do nine single crochets with our base color. Whoops. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop. So because I'm at the back, I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to finish that with my green. So just try not to pull too tight on that. Uh, my green strand is blocking this stitch, so don't miss this stitch. You're going to do two single crochets with your green, and then you're going to finish your second stitch with your red, which is way down here. So again, Make sure this is loose. With your red, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your color green or B. With your color B, you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish that with your base color. And then with your base color, you're going to do eight single crochets to the end. That's 
That's my eight. Chain one, turn your work. Round five, you're going to do seven single crochets. So make sure you're getting this first stitch. It's going to keep your sides nice and straight. This is my seventh stitch, so I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. On my fifth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my green and I'm going to do two single crochets with my green. And on my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do eight single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round six is going to be eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my green. I'm going to do two single crochets with my green. I'm going to finish my second stitch with red. With the red, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets, finishing that second stitch with my base color. My base color, I'm going to do seven single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So that's what you should have at this point. Round seven is going to be six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my green. I stuck on. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. So I'm going to finish that, obviously, with my red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my green. 
I'm going to do three single crochets with my green. I'm going to finish my third stitch with my base color. I'm not waving. I'm going to do seven single crochets with my base. Round eight, keep in mind this goes to 30 stitches, so, but it goes so quick because it's kind of short, it's just a short project. We're gonna do seven single crochets. This is my seventh one. So I'm going to finish that with my green. With green, I'm going to do four single crochets. So I'm going to finish that with my red. With my red, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do four single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets back to the end. Chain one, turn your work. So, round nine. I'm trying to get my ruler straight. Round nine is going to be five single crochets with your base color. Oh, that's my fifth stitch. Sorry. We're going to incorporate white into this, but right now we're going to finish that fifth stitch with your green. And you're going to do two single crochets with your green. So on the second green, you're going to bring in your white and finish the stitch. So with your white, and don't forget to pull everything down and weave in at the back whenever you can. With your white, you're going to do two single crochets and you're going back to green. So two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your green. With your green, you're going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch my green. I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that second one with my green. With my green I'm going to do two single crochets.
and I'm going to finish that with my base color and with my base color I'm going to do six single crochets chain one turn your work Round 10 is going to be six single crochets with your base color. This is my sixth stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my green. And I'm only doing one single crochet with my green. So I'm basically going to pull up a stitch and finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. Try not to skip any stitches here. That's my fourth white. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. That's my fourth white. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do five single crochets with my base color. Chain one, turn your work. This is what you should have at this point. Round 11 is going to be four single crochets. So on my fourth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my green. With green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. I keep resting my arm on my white for some reason because it's getting stuck. So I'm going to finish my white. Oh gosh, I'm getting a great big knot. I got stuffing in here somehow. I don't know how. There, that might help a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to finish the white with my green. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. So I'm just following along with my last row. Three single crochets. So on the third one, I'm going to finish it with my white. With white, I'm going to do four single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my green. With the green, I'm going to do two single crochets. So on my second one, I'm going to finish with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, 
Chain one, turn your work. Around 12, I hope. I just moved my um, ruler in a very kind of bounced out place. So we're going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. So I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to go to my green. Finish the stitch. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. On the third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. So I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. On my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my green. I'm going to do three single crochets with my green. So on my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my base color, which is way the heck over here. Keeping it loosey-goosey. I'm going to do four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So that's what we got so far. Kind of funny looking. Next round's quite simple. We're going to do three single crochets with our base. On the third stitch, you're going to finish it with your green color. With green, you're going to do 17 single crochets. So this is my 18th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color and I'm going to do my three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. These next few rows, we don't need green. So I got this freaking piece of fuzz. All right, let's put that over there. So the next few rows, we're not going to be using green at all. So let's get rid of that. It's one less problem. So cut it off, leaving a tail. So let's pull that out of this mess. We're going to need our base color and this red and white. And the red and white hopefully are not attached to anything. They're just kind of hanging loose because 
this is going to be a back and forth. I don't know if anyone did the skeleton with me that I did, the skull, but um, it'll be like what we had to do with the teeth. So, uh, the first round's going <laughs> to, the first round's going to be easy. So, we're going to do four single crochets. We're on round 14. So four single crochets that brings you into the green here. We're going to finish that with our white, which is still way over here. Start a new white. It's just a lot simpler than bringing it all the way across. I can have two whites going. <laughs> just simpler. Just trying to keep it easy. With your white, you're going to do 17. This is 17. I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. Oops. Chain one, turn your work. This is where it's going to get a lot of back and forth in this, so I'm going to try to explain it to you in an easy way. You're literally going to be doing one change color, one change color, one change color, one change color. So I'm going to show you how to do it in an easy way. This end gets three single crochets with your base color. So first color we're going to go to is red. So starting with red we're going to bounce from color from between white and red, white and red, white and red. So pull down on my pink. So your first stitch is going to be red so you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to go to white. White is going to be one single crochet, so you're pulling up a loop and you're going to go to red. And you're going to do this all the way across until you have four stitches left. So just stop at the white. You're going to follow the same path, but you're going to stop at the white and do your four single crochets. So with the red, make sure I'm getting everything, you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to go to the white. So red is going to be my last stitch. Started with red. I'm going to finish with red. So go in, pull up a loop, 
finish that stitch with your base color. And then you can do your four single crochets. And that's what it should look like when you're done. So that's what you should have done. So it was, wasn't sure how I was going to tell you that, but you just basically just got to do, like I said, if you did my skull with me at Halloween time, you'd know, you just, it's one pull up the loop. It's, it's such a pain in the butt, but it's very, very pretty. So your next round, so chain one, turn your work. Your next round is 16. You're going to do four single crochets. This is your fourth one. You're going to finish it with white. You're going to do the same thing as the first row. With white, you're going to do 17 single crochets across. And then you're going to finish it with your base and do three single crochets. This is my 17th stitch. I just about ran out of my white. That's my 17th stitch. Thank God I had some hanging here. Uh, you're going to finish that with your base color. And then you're going to do three single crochets. So, um, first of all, I just want to pull on this bit and loosen it up. Um, this is really short to me, so I just want to tie this white and that white together because I didn't realize I was so close to running out, but I don't want anything to happen to that. So I'm just going to make a knot and that way nothing's going to happen to it. And you can do that with all these ones at the back too, if you, you know, not really sure whether anything's going to happen to them or not. Just make a double knot and then you're good to go. So round 17, we're going to bring back the green. Because we are here this row right here so we have a row of just plain green just like this row here I'm not sure why the pattern shows this out so far but hopefully it's not that noticeable it, it really is noticeable to me but I didn't make the graph again. I just wrote the pattern from counting the colors. So I don't know. And I didn't make one prior to doing this video. This is the first one I've made. So I didn't know that was going to happen. But it's no big deal. Um, it's probably not even going to be noticeable in what I'm doing with mine. But that sucks that the pattern's written like that. So. First, we're going to do three single crochets with our base color. So on your third stitch, my third stitch is a little tight for some reason. So on your third stitch, you're going to bring back your green. So you're going to do 17 green.
So 17 takes you right to the edge of your white, your last white. I'm going to finish that stitch with my base color. And then I'm going to do my four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 18. So now we got to do what we did down at the bottom. We just got to do it backwards. So round 18 is going to be four single crochets. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do four single crochets. Uh, my fourth one, I'm going to finish it with my white, which is way the heck over here. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. So on my second one, I'm going to finish it with my green. I'm going to do five single crochets with my green. On my fifth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. Finishing that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do four single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. Oh my gosh, get the white out of the way. With my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 19. I'm going to do four single crochets. So that's my fourth one. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. So this is my fourth one. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going to finish it with my green. I only got a little tail left. Finish it with my green. So I'm going to make sure I weave that white in with my green because I only got a little tail left. Uh, with my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. Then I'm going to finish with white. I'm going to add some more. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. Uh, 
I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base. And with my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets. Chain one. That's what you should have right now. So chain one, turn your work, we're on round 20. Round 20 is going to be five single crochets. That's my five. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. This is my fourth one. So I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. So I'm just following along. I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. <laughs> my fourth one. I'm going to finish it with my green. I'm going to do two single crochets. So I'm going to finish this last stitch with my base color and my base color I'm going to do four single crochets. Chain one. Turn your work. Round 21. So I'm going to cut off some white. Twenty-one. It's going to be five single crochets. This is my fifth one. So I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish with my white. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. Oops. I'm going to finish with my green. With my green, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth one. I'm going to finish with my white. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish with my green. And with my green, I'm going to do two single crochets.
Then I'm going to finish with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 22 is going to be six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch. I'm going to finish with my green. With my green, I'm going to do five single crochets. I'm going to finish that I'm going to finish that with my red with my red I'm going to do three single crochets That's my third stitch that I'm going to finish with my green. With my green, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch that I'm going to finish with. Oh, oh my gosh with the great big knot that I have going on. I'm going to finish with my base color and I'm going to make that loosey goosey. I'm going to do five single crochets with my base color. That's my fifth stitch. Chain one turn my work. Round 23 is going to be six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my green, as usual. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. That's my third one, so I'm going to switch. I'm going to finish that with my red, so I'm just going to add some more red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. So this is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets on my third one. I'm going to finish it with my base color 
and I'm going to do seven single crochets. That's my seventh stitch. I'm going to chain one, turn my work. Round 24. This goes to round 30, so. Round 24 is going to be seven single crochets. This is my seventh stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. And I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. So just follow what you already got there. And I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. My base color, I'm going to do six single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So this is what you should have at this point. 25. We're going to do seven single crochets. That's my seventh stitch. I'm going to end it with my, finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. Oh. Apparently I'm not going to do that all the way. I gotta add more red because I cut my thing too short, apparently. So one more. I weave all that in, it should be fine. I'm gonna finish that last stitch with my green. With my green, I'm gonna do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my base color, my base color. I'm going to do eight single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Twenty-six. We're going to do nine single crochets. That's nine. I'm 
going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish it with my red. With red, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. And my base color, I'm going to do eight single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 27, we're going to do eight single crochets. This is my eighth single crochet. I'm going to finish it with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish it with my white which is way the heck over here. I'm going to finish that with my white. With white, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my green. If I can get it. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth one. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So I got a lot going on here. I am done my white, so I'm going to snip it off with the tail. I've done my red, so I'm going to snip that off with a tail. Round 28, you're going to do nine single crochets. This is nine. I'm going to finish it with my green. With green, I'm going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh one. I'm going to finish with my base. And with my base, I'm going to do eight single crochets. That is the end of that. Chain one, turn your work.
round 29, we're going to do 9 single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish with my green. With green, I'm going to do five single crochets. That's my fifth one. I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do ten single crochets. That's 10. So chain one and turn your work. Your last round is going to be in your base color only so you can cut your green off with a tail. And with your base color only you're going to do 24 single crochets, one in each stitch all the way across. That's my 24th stitch. So, so well, you can fasten off. Um, I'm going to fasten off. So, um, I don't know if you're following me with this Christmas tapestry crochet or if you've just stumbled across this video, but I am making other ones. So, I've got this on my board and it's, it's drying. Um, and it's another tapestry I did. I had put an extra border around. So these two sizes, so I'm going to be making a Christmas throw. So they're just about the same size. So I'm not going to put a border around this one, but this one was smaller. So that's why I chose to put a border around it. But for this one, I'm not going to put a border around it. I'm just going to fasten off. So, um, again, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I take pieces and I tie them together in knots before I weave them. So I will quickly go through the blocking again with you because for this particular project it's super duper important that you know or understand blocking. So I will go over that with you again. So blocking, you get a blocking board 
like this so you can buy those ones from Walmart too like that you use for kids playroom that'll probably work as well so you get a blocking board and you can either wash it in the washing machine or you can just get a spray bottle with some water in it and soak your work Now you probably just gotta do the outside. You don't need to soak the whole entire thing. Just, um, I don't generally soak the whole entire thing. I do spray in the middle, but I don't soak it only so that I can stretch it easier if I need to do that. So once you have it soaked, and it doesn't take much to have it soaked, now you can move it and shape it. And then you take these little pins And you pin your work in the shape that you need it to be in. This is how we're going to block this. And then you let it dry overnight. And then it'll keep the shape that you want. So it's mostly just the sides you got to worry about. And my sides are pretty straight. I don't really need to be over overly picky. It does feel to me like it comes out here a little bit. So I just want to kind of push it back into shape. But that's just from the pulling and the stretching of, you know, all your different colors. It's nothing that you've done wrong. So again, this just feels like it's been stretched out. I'm going to push it back in. I don't really want it to be stretched out. And that is how we do blocking with a blocking board. So now that you've got it all pinned down, this just dries overnight and you're good to go. I still feel like that's out of shape at the bottom. And I put a second one down here because I feel like it's still out of shape a little bit. So uh, there's your second Christmas de Christmas decoration, your Christmas ornament. Um, that's the first one I did. And because the pins are there, if you need to, you know, the space, these do stack. It just stacks on top of the pins can't show you without dumping it, but it just stacks on top of the pins. This air can still get to it. It can still dry perfectly fine if you don't have the space. So this one's already been drying, so I'm just going to stack that on that. So thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.